What's up everybody, Mount Vernon Kid here coming to you again with another edition of Characters, Why I Like Them. And today I bring you a character that I highly respect, uh, I like, uh, not as not just as a character, but as a whole, uh, and that's Sam Wilson, a.k.a. Falcon. Yes, the Falcon. And there might be a little bit of a rant in this one because... I get tired of hearing people say certain things about Sam Wilson, like, oh, he's he's whack. How, how can you like this guy? He can't do anything. Sam Wilson is so much more than you think, and I'm going to explain it to you, okay? All right, so first and foremost, let's get one thing straight. Sam Wilson was the Falcon. Sam Wilson was created by, of course, Stan Man Lee. And late great Gene Colin. Colin. Uh, they they ca- cl- classify uh, Falcon as being empowered by evil, but inspired by good. And pretty much he became the second. And probably the longest sidekick Steve Rogers, Captain America, had uh, after Bucky. Okay. Uh, Sam Samuel, that's his 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 full name is Samuel Thomas Wilson. He grew up in Harlem, New York. Uh, same same neighborhood of New York where Luke Cage grew up, and his parents were pretty much big followers of, you know, you know, in, into, you know, God, you know, uh, big Christian folk. And Sam really didn't really like that. You know, he didn't, you know, he wasn't really big into that. Uh, but he did have a big natural fiction for birds. He loved birds when he was young. Uh, he started to, when he was young, he trained pigeons and uh, as a teen, as he got older, that's when he pretty much uh, encountered his first act of racism, pretty much. And that pretty much frustrated frustrated him, and you know he, he didn't like that. Uh, so when Sam got older, around I say about sixteen, that's when we really started to see this kind of turn of a character in him. Meaning, like he didn't really look at the world the way he did when he was younger, uh, especially in terms of his parents' faith in God and things like that. Until his parents provided books of different religions and, you know, uh, theologies and things like that for him. Unfortunately, Sam's, uh, his, his father was killed uh, trying to break up a fight in, around their neighborhood. Then two years later, his mom was shot uh, by a mugger one block from their apartment that it was it was, that was that was so that pretty much consumed Sam of you know anger and rage you know uh but in still in return he still was respectful to the community and he became a community volunteer like a social worker and pretty much one day when he when he was going to I If I believe it was correct, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, his plane crashed and he was later found by the Red Skull. The Red Skull used the cosmic cube on him, which gained Sam his telepathic uh, control over, you know, birds and things like that. Uh, And that's where he, he pretty much created his snap. Uh, persona but this was a retcon and it was kind of a bad one because um, if I remember correctly uh, 
he had the ability to talk to birds when he was a kid, so it was kind of wrong. Okay. Uh, and but during this retcon, they also say that the Red Skull is the one that kind of molded him into this good fighter to take on Captain America. But Cap was able to snap Sam out of his out of skull out of control of skull, and together they they fought, you know, uh, the Red Skull together. Um. So that's that's pretty much kind of how technically he became the Falcon in a way. Uh, there's more to it, but uh. When they return back to America, that's when he really started to work as a hero, but also, you know, basically, you know, team up with Steve and they would protect Harlem and things like that. Uh, he, he pretty much worked in the Harlem community, uh, but certain certain sections of the African American populace viewed him as a so called Uncle Tom. Uh pretty much, you know basically saying, you know, kinda, you know, he's he's not really fighting for us, you know, he's just doing it for himself, you know, he he turned his back on us and things like that. But uh Sam really would evolve later on. I mean, after even helping um, Black Panther, T'Challa, T'Challa awarded him with with a costume with wings capable of flying. Because at first he had like this green and orange like costume that you know really looked kind of funny on him. Uh, I prefer the white and red. Uh, and uh, Sam has been a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent as well over time. So, you know, he's he's more than what you think he is, guys. I mean, that's all I, I, I have to sum it up a lot because I think a lot of people misunder, misinterpret, you know, uh, F Falcon as being just this guy who can, who can fly or he can talk to birds. The guy can talk to birds. And I always found that a cool power that you can able able to communicate with the uh, nature or, or animals. I found that so cool, you know, to understand what they think, what goes on in their head, what 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 is their purpose? How do they view their role in you know the world? Um, but. Let me, let me explain a little bit more about, you know, uh, what Falcon is more and more like, okay? The guy is probably, I would put him up there as probably one of the top fighters in the Marvel Universe. I'm not saying he's on par with somebody like Shang-Chi, but he's up there. He... He, he can hold his own in a fight. And he's done so plenty of times. He was like the big brother type to Bucky when he took over the role of Captain America. Uh, of course, you know, and of course he has that tel telepathic, you know, the te telepathy with the birds and of course his, his faithful companion, Red Wing. But... Uh, you know, it's he's still a good character, nonetheless. Um, his costume, his wings, are like this hard substance. If I'm not mistaken, it's it's also the when when uh, T'Challa gave it to him, they were more of like vibranium mixed, and they gave Sam the ability. Well, he still can fly now, but. Uh, 
he also had uh, his mask at one point. If, I'm not sure if it's still there. Gave uh, him different uh, ranges of night vision, infrared, uh, magnification. You know, basically he can zoom in. Uh, and also like a whole 360 degree viewing of his surroundings. So it was like very hard for people like to sneak up on him. Um, that's one thing. But he's also been an Avenger. And what we always say about, you know, former Avengers. Once an Avenger, always an Avenger. Uh, he's been a Defender, Hero for Hire, uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. He's been on a lot of teams. And he's always, it's always a pleasure to see, uh, it's always, it's always a pleasure to see, uh, Sam. It, it, it is, it is always a very good pleasure to see him. I never get tired of seeing Sam, you know, uh, whenever I, whenever he's in a book, because I really don't read Heroes for Hire, but I'm glad to see that he's still there and he will, he will pop up. You know, he'll always be in the Captain America books as well. So, definitely as a whole character, you got to look at Sam as a whole character. And then you can understand the, why people like me like him so much. If you're just looking at him because, oh, he doesn't have... A, a real real superpower like super strength or something like that then you're looking at him the wrong direction uh, he he is definitely earns my respect and if I'm not mistaken he's the first african-american hero that came out during his time not to have I think I think he came out before Luke so he was the first along with people like Storm not to have the the name black in their superhero name. So he he that's kind of cool as well. Um as for other medias uh he Martin Roach voiced him in Avengers United United They Stand the 1999 Avengers cartoon uh, and and of course when he was on and then he also was a big part main character on the the show the superhero squad uh, but other than that he's never made any other appearances outside of those cartoons would I like to see him? He is gonna make he is gonna make an appearance in uh, Avengers: Earth Mightiest Heroes because I can't wait I can't wait to see him in there. Um, would I like to see him in a movie? Yes, I would definitely I would definitely want to see him integrated into maybe a uh, since. Uh, since Mr. Chris Evans has signed a nine picture deal for you know uh, to play Steve Rogers I would prefer to see him in you know one of those in a Captain America sequel or something like that now as to who can play him I'm not too quite sure about who can play Sam Wilson but definitely I would like to see him and I love Falcon. I love him. I love him a lot. I have a lot of respect for Falcon. And you guys tell me what you think about the Falcon. Do you feel that he's just a lame excuse for, you know, for, you know, you know, that Stanley and Gene Colan made, you know, just to like, oh, well, we just put somebody out. Or are you looking at or do you like him as a whole like I do? But, uh. Thanks for listening, guys. Um, this is the first character, of course. And I will be right back with the next character. And I think you're going to like her.